Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 60 of FTB Revelations, where today I'm playing with radiation a little bit, and I'm actually starting to understand how the radiation mechanic in nuclear craft works. And I think I've got it figured out, and I think I've got it figured out how we're going to handle it, uh, so that we don't, you know, completely irradiate the world with this. Because we've got some pretty low energy, low radioactive uh, stuff going on at the moment. And I want to understand this before we get to, like, the crazy extreme radiation that we're going to have in the future, right? Because, I, I mean, A, I built this way out in the desert here, way far away from my base. Way far away from my base, which is all the way over here. I mean, it's not that far away, but it's pretty far away. Uh, such that the, the radiation doesn't get all the way down there and, you know, make my current base unlivable. But also, I want to understand how radiation works because it's, like, a fun mechanic and, you know... That's what, that's what gameplay is all about. So uh, I've been playing with these radiation scrubbers for a little bit, and I think I've come up with a pretty good understanding, okay? So when you have a Geiger counter equipped and you right-click it, it shows you the current amount of radiation in the chunk, right? And that's 23 MRADs per tick for this chunk because this is the one where my, radi where my nuclear reactors are at, right? If we jump over to the next chunk over here, you'll see it's at 11, and then we, we jump, like, a chunk over here, and we're down to, like, 7... Right, so it's like way less as we get away from that one chunk, which is highly irradiated. Uh, not that bad, but a little decent amount of radiation, just because there's two nuclear reactors and they're both processing some fuel and a few other things going on. Right, so that's what that does. The bottom left is how much radiation your player is absorbing. Now you would think these two numbers should be the same, and they should. Except for the fact that I'm wearing armor that protects me. Right, so 24 MRADs per tick. And I'm absorbing 144 URADs per tick. If I remove my armor, you'll notice that these two numbers equalize now, right? Look at that. Boom. 24 MRADs per tick, 24 MRADs per tick. Same number, right? And now I'm absorbing radiation, and over time, I'll get more and more radiation. So the first number of the radiation is how much radiation your player has absorbed. That 93 RADs, that's what my player has currently absorbed. That's the radiation that I have um, and that's that's the thing that we have to drink the rat away to get rid of, right? And that never goes down unless you consume rat away, right? The number on the right, the 24 M rats per tick, that's the number of radiation in the chunk. And the, the number on the bottom left, the 24 M rats per tick, that's how much your player is currently absorbing. Now, if I re-equip my armor, you'll see that bottom left number go down significantly because my player is no longer absorbing a lot of radiation because I'm wearing... Uh, armor that protects me from radiation, right? But the chunk still has 24 MRADs per tick in it, uh, and we're still getting, uh, and we're still sitting at 105 MRADs until we drink some rad away, uh, at which point we should boop, be okay. So let's have a little consum boom, and we'll see that now my radiation's at zero. My player has almost no radiation. He's going to slightly go up now because I am absorbing that little bit, that 145 URADs per tick. So I'm getting very, very, very tiny amounts of radiation um, seeping through the, the protective armor that I'm wearing. Nothing to be too concerned about, though. It's going to take a really long time for that radiation to start affecting me. That said, there's other ways to protect ourselves uh, from radiation. We can scrub the radiation in a chunk, right? Um, so if we look at this chunk, we'll see it's at 23, 24, hanging around there. This one's at 11. Uh, this one's at seven. So the radiation is definitely seeping out to adjacent chunks. We need to do something to prevent that. There's no way to contain radiation in the mod right now. So there's no kind of shielding or protective area that you can put around stuff to, to stop things from happening, right? Uh, so we have to pay attention to that. But what we can do is use radiation scrubbers, which we created last episode and played with a little bit to try and get the radiation to go away. And that's what we're going to do today. All right, so enter the radiation scrubber, right? What this is going to do is remove radiation uh, from the chunk itself, so that 23 MRADs per tick number. Now, what I've done with my playing around is figured out a good pattern to go with for building uh, these guys out. So what I'm going to do uh, is, is place a couple of these things in preparation, and I'm going to use my uh, checkerboard mode uh, from my old buddy building gadgets here. Do, 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 do. Boop. And that should be pretty cool. Okay, so this checkerboard mode that I've that I've chosen to go with here is is going to be a pretty efficient design for us, and I'll show you why. Right, I'm going to start with a with with a single 
radiation scrubber, right? Now remember, he needs power, so I've got my uh, connector here, and that thing should start, you know, charging up. And if we right click it, we'll see he's removing four MRADs per tick. Now remember before we were sitting around 23 to 24 MRADs per tick in this chunk. If I right click and give this a few minutes, uh, that MRADs per tick should start dropping, right? And it should go down to around 19 or 20. So let's give that a few minutes for this thing to, to, to start actually removing radiation. And we'll remove the block under him as well, just to make sure that he has plenty of uh, free space around him to, to do what he needs to do. Right, so we can see it's already going down, right? We're down to 22 MRADs. It takes a few minutes for these things to work. Don't think that the minute you put them in the chunk, it's gonna be like, boom, 19 MRADs. No, it takes like a minute or two. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that maybe it was a little bit higher radiation. I was playing with this before and it might've gone up a little bit. So let's just pop another one of these dudes down here. Now, the reason that I'm choosing this pattern is that the wireless RF transmitter here should cover this whole three by three area of guys and they'll still have like a decent amount of radiation removal, which will be good, I think. So let's see, yeah, you're at 100% active radiation removal. You're at 69%, but you'll, you'll, oh, so you're at negative three now. Okay, cool. Well, let's see what happens. So you're at negative four. So now if we check our radiation levels, we should see them starting to drop uh, again. So again, we'll just give it a few minutes and come back in a second and see what happens. All right, so the radiation's not going down as much as I would expect it to. Actually going up a little bit, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and pop a few more of these bad boys in here and see what happens, right? So now let's do, we'll put six in here in the chunk and we'll see what that does for us. So, or actually, yeah, six is what we've got going on, right? So these guys are doing uh, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100 This guy for some reasons at 69, probably because he's the one with the wireless RF transmitter sitting on top of it, but that's okay. Um, so now let's see what happens to the radiation. Definitely starting to drop, so that's good. Um, I might even throw three more down here. So give them a minute to kind of come to life here. And he should be feeding all those dudes, right? Yeah. So they're at 100%, but they aren't removing radiation just yet. There you go, negative four, negative four, negative four, negative four, negative four. Boom, negative four, negative four, negative four. They're coming to life. And if we check the radiation in the chunk, we'll see it dropping, right? So now it's at 19, and then it was at 17, and it's gonna continue to drop over a few minutes here. So again, gonna keep an eye on this for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. So, uh, radiation rapidly dropping now that we threw a bunch more radiation scrubbers in this chunk. Uh, you can see it went from 17, and then I gave it a few minutes, it went down to 11, nine, six, and now it's down at three. Oh, down to two, nice. So obviously, you know, the, the nine radiation scrubbers we have in this chunk are doing pretty good. I kind of want to just give it a few more minutes to finish stabilizing. You can also see on my bottom left there, I'm down to one URAD per tick, which is pretty cool. So like well, my, my armor is obviously protecting me quite a bit, which is cool. Um, and uh, I, mean, I think we probably have stabilized at this point, right? So should we throw another one of these dudes in here? Now, at this point, when I drop another one down, uh, we're not gonna have uh, this guy reaching over to him, right? So we need another one here to, to kind of help, you know, power this dude up. Um, so if we, we check him, his uh, active radiation protection won't be ideal, uh, but we can probably throw another one here and he'll hopefully be at 100% once he comes to life a little bit. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Hey, there we go. Nice, 100%, you're at like 50%. So how's my radiation going now? Oh man, look at that. Wow, look in the chunk. That is cool, 226 URADs per tick. We have uh, definitely reached a point where we have far less radiation going on in this chunk right now. That's like a tiny, tiny little babyish amount of URADs. Uh, and I think if I threw one more in there, that might that might be it. That might be, that might be the end of the radiation in this chunk. Because you can actually get the chunk down to zero. Um, there it is, boom, zero rads, nice. And you can see on my bottom left, zero rads. So like even without armor, zero rads. Uh, so it looks like the magic number here uh, is 12. 12 uh, of these radiation scrubbers, which makes sense, right? 12.5% um, of radiation max from its chunk, right? Uh, but remember, some of these are not operating at like perfect efficiency, right? Some of these are a little bit low on efficiency score, 40 here. Most of the ones that are, don't have the thing on top of them, like I don't know why this is like 70 and this is 40, like that makes no sense to me, but whatever. 
It's all good. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a pretty efficient way uh, to get the, the, the thing covered, at least for now, right? Um, technically, there's probably slightly more efficient approaches we could take. Um, like if we were doing Draconic Crystals, which we're not yet, but if we were, we could have the Draconic Crystal like up in the air and beaming energy into these guys, and then they wouldn't need a block on top of them, and then we could probably eliminate one or two of them. But I think 12 is kind of the magic number for radiation protection. So you can see now we're at zero rads per tick. So long story short, if you want to be safe, if you want to be good, just throw down 12 radiation scrubbers in a chunk, and it should lower it. Now remember, this guy, the, the adjacent chunk over here was like around, what, 11 earlier? I don't know, I'd have to scroll up beyond my chat history. But if we check it out now, we'll see it's down to six. And my suspicion is that this number should slowly over time drop as well. Uh, and what we'll find is that there's, there's not as much radiation in this adjacent chunk, um, or obviously this one over here. See, this one's at seven, it's, it's higher still. Like the, the scrubbing hasn't, Propagate, prop, propagated just yet. But that, 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 that. Better can talk. Right? But ideally, like at some point, you know, the, the adjacent chunks will start to have a, a slightly lower radiation. Now, we could totally throw some scrubbers in those chunks, but a majority of my radiation is coming straight up from this chunk here, right? Um, so I think that design that we've built up there is going to be pretty good for us. And given this thing some time, we should be cool. Now, now, I, I built this in such a way because I absolutely plan, absolutely plan that in the future, we're going to have some nuclear reactors in this chunk, right? Probably ones that are producing far more radiation. Now, this says it's percentage based, right? Like if you look at the scrubber, um, we're moving 12.5% of the radiation from its chunk. So does that mean like no matter how, how high the radiation is, 12 of them are going to cover it? I think so, right? I think that's what that means. But I'm not really sure. See, this chunk's down to five now. So he's definitely going down, which is cool. Which is cool. So I'm going to keep an eye on this again for just a few minutes here. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do. And meanwhile, I think we're going to get ready to do uh, the next nuclear reactor that we want. Which will probably wind up living in this chunk. And that's going to be the one that I designed uh, and told you guys about last episode. Which is the one that is a little bit more intense. Uh, and we'll be able to handle higher tiers of um, nuclear fuel. Cool. So let's take a look at the uh, at the reactor planner for that. Okay, and uh, just as a note, we are at four MRADs per tick at the moment in that adjacent chunk, which is cool. All right, let's hide these chunk lines and see what we got to get. So if I were to come over to here and we were to paste it in and then boop, boop, get a load going on. Hello, big reactor. Nice. Okay, cool. So that's going to tell me the amount of things we need, right? Um, we need uh, 39 fuel cell, reactor cells, right? Oh, we're missing boron. Ugh. Man, are we low on boron. That is a thing that we are going to have to deal with. Because uh, I am really low on boron. Uh, like, like depressingly low on boron. Hey, erodium crystals. Hang on. 
I believe that's what I need for my ninth erodium. Hooray! Hooray! Finally! Finally! Come here, you. Boop. All right, so you, I need to get, um, I need to get the good lens. I can finally make the crystal laser lens. Whoo, that is nice, okay? Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a higher chance of getting erodium, right? It's gonna give me like four times the erodium chance, roughly speaking. So that's gonna be a lot better for us. Um, I'm down, I'm on board with that. I think that's awesome. Uh, I would love for you, let's get a ender chest. Thank you, sir. We have translocators, right? Yeah. Actually, we already have some. Even better. Nice. Boop, boop. Do the thing. Man, I forget the different things that you can put on translocators. Right? I totally forget the different things you can put on translocators to make them faster. Not that it matters. And I mean, frankly, this could just be the ender chest, but meh. So what's the what's the diamond nugget do again? Not what I thought it did. I think that's about filtering, isn't it? Is it gold that makes it like stacks at a time? One of these nugs nuggets makes it like stacks at a time, and I always forget which one. Let's see, translocators mod. Ah, glowstone is stacks at a time. Glowstone is stacks at a time. Or, yeah, there we go. Boom. <laughs> it was like a lag spike when I did that. It was shenanigans. All right, so now we probably have a lot of ores processing downstairs, but I got to look into boron. I might do a little bit of mining here. I actually did a lot of mining between episodes because I needed a lot of boron specifically. Um, nice. All right, so you're doing your exports. You've probably got a lot of ores that you need to process, but that's okay. You just, you know, sit there and do your ore thing, right? All kinds of activity happening because all the ores are getting dumped into that thing over here. But long story short, uh, I had to do a lot of mining between episodes because I needed more boron for radiation scrubbers. Uh, at this point, I am really bummed that boron doesn't seem to exist uh, for either the astral project, this thingy over here, or the deep dark. Neither one seems to be producing boron for me, which is super stinky because I need a lot of it for me doing our nuclear craft. So I'm probably going to have to just go mining, all right? Like, I can't think of any other option realistically uh the only other thing i could maybe do is an rf tools dimension that's like full of boron um i mean the 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 long-term plan is the environmental tech dude right like that's gonna that's gonna do boron for me no problem so you can see here's some mining i did you guys want to see how stupid how stupid the mining is watch this you ready i'm excited about this just because it's fun it's fun it, it's it's fun it's just good times you ready you ready for uh, a little bit of crazy mining? Here goes nothing. Here really goes nothing. Whee! This is how we mine. This is a good time. Everybody's enjoying this, especially me. Uh, unfortunately, boron is just not common enough To, to really work, right? It's just not common enough. The only other thing I can imagine doing is moving my void ore miner to the overworld. I guess that could work. Like, we could just stick the void ore miner, you know, far away in the overworld such that it won't uh, affect anything. So, how'd I do mining? Not ideal. Did we get any boron at all, even? Probably not, knowing my luck. Uh, yeah, we did get 39 of them, so we didn't do too bad. But maybe uh, we move... Yeah, that's kind of not a terrible idea, right? We can move this void ore miner to the overworld. 
and then get boron. How cool would that be? Do we like that idea? I hope so, because that's kind of what I just decided I'm doing. Because frankly, I need more boron. I need lots and lots more boron. And I do not have said boron, and that's a problem for me. Whee, radiation. I'm gonna put you away right now because I'm not too worried about radiation. Actually, no, you're supposed to go in here. And then you're just not doing the tick, 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 tick sound, which is cool because that's what radiation thingies do, but also it's a slightly annoying sound. All right, so let's see, I'm gonna take you with me and I'm gonna take you, right? And you, and you, and you, cool. Now I'm guessing that you retain everything about you, right? Including this, nice. So that we don't have to rebuild the, the box, right? So now let's just go somewhere and test this thing out. And hopefully we'll be able to get lots of boron. So what I'm gonna do is just fly off into a general, nuclear wasteland? I wonder if nuclear wastelands have a higher incidence of boron. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? curious okay so a few things first off i'm gonna pop a waystone here Boop. enter a name uh minor that sound cool and i can waystone my way around i like that hello llamas Boop. so in theory i should be able to reset you and throw down the redstone thing hey wrong thing there you are Throw down the power thing, throw down the energy, the duh, throw this guy down. And this should do the thing for me, right? All I need is a lever. All right. There he goes. He is clearing. Now, this seems like a really bad idea to everyone, right? Probably. I wonder if I can... All right, all right, I'm going home to take a nap. Goodness gracious. Zombies everywhere. Killing me, Smalls. Wow, he is draining some power like nobody's business. Uh, you know what his limitation is? Yeah, he's outputting 19k. His limitation is not how much he can accept per side. His limitation is how much my battery back home can output per side. But hey, hopefully we're getting boron. Now the only other thing we have to do is A, hope that I put this all in one chunk, and luckily I did. I always forget to check. I'm like, one of these days. Oh, goodness. All right, so you guys have a bunch of stuff happening. You've got nothing coming in. I turn on channel ID 1, and you should have a bunch of stuff showing up, right? Including, hopefully, Boron. Hopefully. Boron, Boron, Boron. Hardly knew you. All right, I'm going to let that run for a little bit. Um, might as well be using some of the power we're producing over in that nuclear area, huh? Because, I mean, for the for realistically, I haven't much been using that power. And now I can, so that's cool. So my miner is, in fact, working. I have no idea where it's working at. Probably somewhere over here. I would imagine, right? I would imagine? I wonder if I should consider the extra utilities miner. Because I could just, like, whitelist boron. That uses a ton of power too, though, doesn't it? I have no idea where this miner is at. And I could turn on that render thing, but that seems like a bad idea. Already teleporting. All right, settle down. Sheesh. All right, so you do your thing. You've gotten hopefully some boron by now. Uh, you might have processed it already. All right, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Uh, produce hopefully a bunch of boron and uh, we'll see where we go from there and we're at 87 86 <laughs> that's not a good sign 
All right, so boron's coming along. I just requested from some uh, reactor cells. I'm gonna request all the uh, components of the reactor and we'll come back when everything's crafted. Cool? All right, so I think I've got everything I need here. So let's take a quick old nap uh, and pop over to our nuclear area to set up our new reactor. Nuclear site, hooray! So this is gonna be a reactor that should be pretty cool, I think. Let's turn on our chunk line so we can see where this is gonna live. Uh, so I'm thinking, let's get out our copy paste gadget here and see. So that needs to go down one for sure, right? Unless I wanted to put it here, which still needs to go down one technically because we've got that ceiling stuff going on. So this I mean, it might need to go into the floor a little bit. All right, guys. So let's pop this thing in here. So that looks pretty good, right? Man, it's so hard to break blocks individually. I need like a slower drill, <laughs> which is a hilarious thing to say. I don't think that's ever been a situation for me in all of modern Minecraft. I have never said to myself, I need a slower drill. Right though? I think this looks good, yeah. Okay, that looks cool to me. I thought I had this planned out properly. Maybe I misjudged. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. All right, uh, do I have a thingy here? I, I can do this, right? Just give me like uh, surface mode on this dude. We can turn this off now. That looks cool. Yeah, we might want to be a little bit more careful about surface mode because what he's going to do is uh, expand upon the existing casings, which we don't really need it to do. So that all seems good. We might have a different road down here needing a little bit more help. So like I said, this this guy should be capable of burning high energy plutonium. He's a pretty big reactor to be fair. Not huge, mind you, but pretty big. Okay, so why don't you do this? Okay, that should be pretty darn close to good now. So the only thing I'll need then is uh, my reactor port and fission controller, right? So we can pop that dude there. We can get some of this concrete to fill in the ground again. How's that look? Cool. So are you happy? Five by seven by five, 16,400 heat protect cooling. Nice. That's cool. So now we have to get HEP 241 going on, right? Uh, I wouldn't mind, um, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this guy over here because I'm suspecting eventually I'll have another fission reactor over in that corner and I think that would be cool, right? So we could totally have um, a couple more ender chests, like one like that. And then let's get green dye, and you can turn it to green, right? So that when I make you, we're gonna make it with green, and that should be cool. And then item conduits. 
and that should also be cool. So you're good there, right? Because that's green. So what we're going to have, green and white, right? So the green, well, extract on green, always active. You on the east will insert on green, but we need to filter it, right? So we're not going to insert that yet. And you're going to extract on brown, always active, and you are going to insert on brown and that should be cool right and then we're going to want a limited item filter and now we have to go teach this thing how to make plutonium for me right hep 241 fuel is the thing that we're going to want to teach it so let's do that shall we so you sir learn how to make hep 241 fuel which you might need to learn a couple other things first but we'll find out right so hep 241 fuel. You're missing the plutonium 241 and 242. Not a problem. Because I assume that you can do those two things pretty well with the resources we currently have, I hope. Now we're missing 242. Two forty one and two thirty nine, huh? So where's two forty two come from? Ooh, isotope separator of plutonium, huh? That's neat. Uh decay hastener, you come from LEU two thirty three. Aren't we like doing a bunch of that? Yeah, so we should have two forty two. Oh, there's your problem. I have not taught you to dispatch the 232 yet. Hold on. Popping back here, decay hastener, right? What I should be doing is whitelisting that, to be fair. So are you gonna do the thing or what? Because you should have LEU 233 depleted now. So what I'm gonna do is do this. I'm gonna remove these guys. The LEU 233 is gonna be a whitelist now and you're the only thing allowed in there, right? Um, and then when we get our other depleted fuels, he should start cooking. Why are you not extracting my LEU 233? Because it should be. You're extracting on blue and you are inserting on blue and you're the isotope separator and you go into an isotope separator, right? Oh, a fuel reprocessor? Hold on, that's the wrong thing then, isn't it? Uh, isotope separator? So what are these guys? So you are the, hold on, where's the depleted? So what's your job again? Oh, right, you're supposed to do uranium. Okay, that's right. Hold on, uranium and thorium. That's right, I remember now. I feel like I should remove gold from that list. Go ahead and let this stuff run for a few minutes. So now, because I should be just whitelisting it to be fair, right? So I don't get confused, right? So you're uranium, you process uranium and that's it, right? And the same for thorium in a minute. Yeah, that's what we want. Now where's my fuel reprocessor? I got that around here somewhere. Crystal growth accelerator. Where did I put my fuel reprocessor? Is it in the back? It might be in the back. I forget where things are, you know that. Okay, there you are. There's your fuel reprocessor. You are doing that. So I think the depleted fuel is in here. Cool. All right, so let's get the two of you guys. You go in there. And then you should be perfect. There you go. Depleted fuels. Nice. Okay. And then you isotope separator. Do we have thorium yet? 
sort of ish not really we haven't found any but we'll let the mining operation run for a few minutes and hopefully find some failing that we could probably pop up here and find some thorium right yeah a couple thorium more Perfect. So you're going to be in there. You are now going to be whitelisted. Because there's kind of no sense in blacklisting what goes in there, right? It should be whitelisted, yeah? I think that makes sense, right? And then depleted is no longer being kept in here. Because this is the, the fueling one. That's right. And then over here, now we can make HEP. Yay! Beautiful. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So you should be processing. You should be making your HEP which is a little bit radioactive by the by. So like, what's what's this thing? 71 MRADs, yeah, that hurts. 572 MRADs per tick in this chunk, just from me holding this. Oof, that hurts. Okay. Um, so then here, you're also gonna keep two in stock. So there's your HEP 241, nice. All right, chunk radiation has gone down. Just your player holding it in their hand hurts. Well, because it's radioactive, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Oops, wrong place. There you go. Give me a sec, hold on. Uh, that's not exactly the direction I meant for you to mine in, but okay, cool. Have fun with that. Let me know how it works out. So then you... On the east, we'll have a limited item count filter here that says keep one HEP in stock at all times, right? And insert on green. So there's your HEP fuel, cool. And then turn him on and we're producing 25,740 RF per tick. That is pretty good amount of RF per tick. That is actually a lot of RF per tick, if you if you think about it. Uh, so I'm thinking I might want like a flux plug directly for this, right? That seems like a smart move, yeah. So could I pop him like right? Can, can he be in the corner? I, I don't know, we're gonna find out. 5.5 million RF, so that's cool. He's happy. Let's go home. I'm gonna turn on Mr. Drain Lots of Power. Um, and we're gonna need a better battery soon. Like, really soon. But what we can do is make a flux point now, a plug, the one that gives energy to the network. So I'm gonna pop you down, choose the generator's network, and he should be able to send energy out. I guess we'll find out once I'm gonna remove you for a sec. Yep, he seems to be draining some power. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, pop you back down. You're sending energy out now. And we're gonna let this thing boop, process your high energy plutonium. And real quick, I would like you to burn through some fission reactor. All right, and that's a lot of power. Right, if we're thinking about it honestly. Why are you so low on energy? Oh, right, because you do that. Right. As long as you're giving power to this dude, I'm cool. I mean, not that it even matters, to be honest with you, but meh, whatever. Yeah, so he's going to drain all the energy out of here to feed the thing back home, right? That makes sense, right? And then once he's empty, this guy should start draining a little bit better. Right? He's empty now, which means you're going to start draining a little bit better, maybe? Realistically, probably not, because, yeah, you're going to struggle. But hey, look at that, depleted hep fuel. Nice. All right, so then back home and add you to the list of processings over here. Cool. Wow, you have a lot of LEU to process still. 
I need more speed upgrades than you. Well, oh, wrong speed upgrades. Yeah, just take them all. Who cares? Whatever. Just, just clear that stuff out for me, would you? And that's going to be a lot of plutonium fuel we get from all that LEU that we're processing. How cool is that? Nice. Now, the depleted HEP fuel that we get will fuel reprocess into americium and curium, which is what we're going to use to make HECM, high energy CM fuel, which is curium and curium, 247 and 246. Right, 247 and 246. 246 and 247, cool. Tiny clumps of each, 246 and 247. That's cool. All right, that's awesome. That means high energy curium is next. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time and we'll look at high energy curium as another potential fuel uh, for things. And then once we get that going, we talk about high energy Californium, I think. Because uh, what you'll have is uh, the fuel... Fission reactor turns into depleted HECM. That gets me 249 and 251 and 252 Californium, right? 251 and 252. And this is made from 249 and 252. Okay, cool. And this produces a lot of energy, I think. So, like, you're making base power 660. His base power is 864. But he has a lot more heat gen, too, right? 696 versus 420. So the reactor we have now doesn't cool it. And we're going to have to see if we can come up with one that does. But for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.